Someone who is representing you, I, I want them to represent my values, represent uh, as best as possible my swag, my style, but usually they can't keep up with that, but certainly represent uh, me from a moral perspective, from an ethical perspective. District attorneys are able to perpetuate the system of mass incarceration because either they think that the electorate wants that or they just don't feel accountable because not enough people know about what they do and not enough people vote. I think it's worth pointing out that the United States is the only country in the entire world that elects its prosecutors. Everyone else appoints them, we elect ours. The goal was that elected prosecutors would be less corrupt because the, the appointment process can be corrupted. The voters are a much more pure voice of what the people want. Uh, in practice, that's not how it works. With the DAs, they are often races that people just don't think about, they don't care about, they don't know about. There's not been a, a push from communities, from society at large to say, we want a different answer. This isn't working. We're locking up too many people and it's actually making our communities less safe. Prosecutors' offices, which are focused only on locking people up and getting the most severe sentences for the most severe charges, are going to make mistakes. And I think if we allow DAs to simply do what they've always done and, and never challenge them to get sort of outside of their box, they never will. And that's why voting is so critical. Well, not just voting voting from an informed standpoint, and then holding them accountable going forward to stay true to the promises that they made. The only way that we can hold them accountable is by the public not falling asleep at the wheel.